my son. The day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name Arthas. It has been 15 years after the Doom Lord Shuttleworth opened the orange portal to Outland, flooding Azeroth with the ravenous demons of the Uruta region. Shuttleworth launched a massive assault against the cities and towns of Azeroth, this time extending its reach far beyond the seven eastern kingdoms. Expeditions from uncorrupted hordes and alliance passed through the Silver Blue Gateway to stop the invasion at its source. My child, I watched with pride as you grew into a weapon of righteousness. Dragged by Lich King, they were sent to defeat Shuttle and any forces who would stand in their way. Remember, our line has always ruled with wisdom and strength. And I know you will show restraint when exercising your great power. I know, that story hadn't a very strong plot, but here we are now, ready to defeat Ubuntu and every other Linux really. So, Assume we want to try another Linux desktop for a while, but when we install multiple desktops, our distro gets totally messed up. But not with Silverblue. Next I will upload a demo with all the Austri supported desktops, but I don't want to use voice to that one, so I will explain here how it works. A couple of things before. First, this is a community initiative and not officially supported by Fedora, at least not yet. And second, I'm using Silverblue 30. Just because elementary desktop for now is unsupported on Silverblue 31 beta, due to some dependency issue. The main idea is that every desktop is installed as a new base image. That means, if for example we install elementary, then we just get a pure elementary, and we don't have GNOME anymore, so there won't be any conflicts and weird issues. The only remainings from a previous image when we rebase to a new one, is the layered packages. Layered packages are the packages we have manually installed, and are not part of the base image. As a general rule, we have to avoid layered packages as much as possible, and only play with Flatpak and Fedora Toolbox. Another thing to know is that images is like a list, that every top item only keeps the changes from the bottom item, in order to save disk space. Now, if we add APFS in Linux, everything would be better, but we don't, and we suck really. And after 4 minutes, it is time to get this video started. And I suck big time, when after 1000 uploads I still can't control the length of my videos, when everything is actually scripted. But whatever. So, first thing to do is to add the Kinoite remote. I have the commands on the YouTube description if you want to copy them, together with links to follow the project. An Austri remote isn't like a repository of packages, and we can actually have shared repositories across the different Austri deployments. I got Kinoite already installed, and I think it needs a restart when we add a new remote. Typically, we first check on the OS tree status, and I'm starting with the default Silverblue 30 deployment, then I'm going to pin it. By default Silverblue keeps the last two deployments, and pinning a deployment means that it stays forever like a backup. We can pin as many deployments as we want, and we can boot on the from grub. If we run OS tree status again, we can see that the first deployment that is actually the one we are boot at, is now pinned. Next let's check on our remote references. We now should have two. We have the Fedora remote that is obviously the default, and we can rebase to all those images. Basically this is how we upgrade Silverblue versions. I did a video on upgrading to Silverblue pre-releases previously, if you want to watch. Now we should also have the Kinoite remote we added before. 
that gives us 7 options to rebase to. We have 6 desktops. We have GNOME that is the silver blue option, XFC, DeepIn, LXQT, Elementary, and Kinoite that is Plasma Desktop, and the original reason this remote was created. It is true, KDE has the best fanbase. And we also have a base image, that is a desktop less image. Anyway, I will rebase to elementary desktop, something I haven't tried before, and as you will see later it was proved a bad choice. So, RPM Austri rebase in the name of the remote. But with this download speed I will rebase tomorrow. Let me skip that! So the download was magically completed, and next is the staging phase, that is pretty fast. To be honest I cut the waiting parts, that were a few more seconds anyway. If we scroll up, we can see all the packages that were installed, although these are part of the image, and not really like individual packages as it happens in a typical distro. So if we check again on status, we will see we now have an elementary image. This is called the pending image, and we should reboot to make it active. Another thing to notice, is that it also kept the layered packages, that it is just the conf editor and Fedora's proprietary repositories. Okay, time for reboot and finally get into elementary desktop, or at least that was the plan. When we boot we can select the image on grub entries. I skipped that now, but I will show you in a minute. And now you see the new elementary, Elementary design team made things so much more simple. The only option we have is to restart. I bet GNOME designers feel so defeated now. But that's a good thing maybe, because now I get the chance to show you silver blue awesomeness. So what if an upgrade fails? It doesn't really matter. We can just boot to our previous working image, which in this case is from a completely different remote. And from Grub we can now select the original silver blue image that we also have pinned. And also a small bug with elementary duplicated entries. Because I hate when my videos are failing, let me super fast try to rebase to Fedora Rawhide with XFCE this time, and hopefully that will work. Okay, that kinda worked, because I have crazy mouse lag. So, our files are here, our flat packs if we had, would be here, and this is how different desktops work on silver blue. And since I'm on XFC, please allow me to make a quick comment on this desktop. I installed XFC on clear Linux and I was about to make a review on it, but what the hell. And I'm referring to XFC default menu. Look. I know we can change that. But this is not excuse for this crap, that doesn't even have a search. I mean you can call something awful, or even embarrassing, but this menu is so bad that you shut the hell up, you simply show mercy and you don't say anything. 